All right, this is the ELO 3220L. It's a 32 inch widescreen, 1366 by 768 HDTV LCD touchscreen. You see on the back here, it has the uh, 400 by 200 Visa mounting screw holes. Uh, it's got two speakers built in, one here and one there. It's got uh, plenty of ports on the bottom. You can see uh, it's actually got a built-in amplifier for external speakers, left and right. It's got an actual power switch, uh, two HDMI ends, uh, analog audio and VGA input, two component inputs, a standard composite input and S-video input. It's got a SPDIF out. Uh, for digital audio out that's coming in, passes through from the uh, HDMI. Uh, it's got a serial port and a USB port for the touchscreen, and what looks like a network RJ45 port for servicing. It comes with uh, these built in stand legs down here that just uh, screw in. Those can be removed easily. Uh, two handy built-in hand handles whenever you're carrying it. It does have some wear from the previous owner from where it used to be mounted. It's got uh, six hardware buttons, power, menu, volume up down, and channel up down. And here's the touch screen. Uh, it's hooked up to a slower computer right now that doesn't handle HD video too well. I'll try to get a good idea of it here. Well, that was a unfortunate place to pick in the movie. Anyway, you get the idea. Angry Birds. Oh, yeah. I did that too far. We're not far enough. Ah. Well, you can see the responses. Pretty nice. And uh, go check out uh, Chrome. See, browse through some web pages, get the general idea of uh, scrolling web pages. Uh, this wasn't built in by default in the Chrome you actually have to add an extension so that it recognizes touch instead of dragging and trying to copy text like that anyway um, this is something I've been messing with HP TouchSmart software it's 2.0, so it's about four years old, but uh, they haven't found a way to bring 4.0 to uh, machines other than the TouchSmart yet. Best question mark ever.
Check out some tunes. Come on, iTunes. There you go. It does come with a remote, 